College Algebra. Welcome to lesson 5.3, your second to last lesson of College Algebra. Okay, we are going to look at matrices today and specifically square matrices. So matrices have uh, that are square have the same number of rows as they do columns. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that we're going to talk about a determinant and a determinant is just a number associated with the square matrix. All right, what you have to know about um, matrices is that you have inside a matrix you have elements. So uh, this says A11, A12 right here. Um, those are element names. So those are naming a position um, in the matrix. So for example, A11 means it's the element in the first row, first column. So A12 would be the element in the first row, second column. A21 would be the element in the second row, first column. And A22 is the element in the second row, second column. All right, if you're going to find the determinant, we put these straight bars around A. Now, they're gonna look like absolute value bars, but they mean in matrix talk, they mean find the determinant. So when I see those bars up, think determinant. To find a determinant, you're going to basically do the cross product. You're going to start with A11, and you multiply it by A22. So I've multiplied these two elements together. Um, let me, I'm gonna make my pen a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply these two together. Then I subtract, and I come the other way, A12, times A21. So you always start with the top left and multiply, you multiply your diagonal starting with the top left and then you subtract their products. So if I were to do example B, I'm sorry, example one, um, which is matrix B, I would take five times negative four and I would subtract negative eight times two, and negative 20 plus 16 is going to be negative four. Okay, we're going to apply that here to number 98. You might have some like this in your homework. All right, I see that my normal uh, brackets around the matrix have been switched to these vertical bars. That is code for find the determinant. So I'm going to do that here on the left. 2x times x is 2x squared. 11 times x is 11x. So again, I took that diagonal minus that diagonal. And that equals 6. Now, you more than likely have done work like this in Algebra 2. I believe in that class you did a little bit of work with matrices. Um, in our curriculum, this is the only lesson we have to do with matrices. Um, from here, I'm going to factor this. So factors of negative 12 that add to negative 11. And they would be, let's see, negative 12 and 1. And we get two answers, negative one half and six. Okay, moving on in your notes. Now, if you guys were with me in the regular classroom, I would show you how to do part B, which is a way to find a determinant of a three by three matrix. However, 
This one is better shown to you when we're physically together in the classroom. So I'm going to skip this method and show you how to do three by threes using a different method, which is called the diagonal method. And chances are, if you had Algebra 2 um, with any of our Algebra 2 teachers, Hanson, Fisher, or Harder, you would have done this method in Algebra 2. This is like the preferred way to do it. Unfortunately, it only works with three by threes. If your matrix is bigger than a three by three, um, then you'd have to do the determinant a different way. In this class, we stick to three by threes and smaller, so three by three, two by two, um, so you won't have to deal with anything bigger than this. Okay, what you need to do when you copy this problem down is keep your rows and columns very straight, give yourself a little bit of space, and I also need you to um, recopy the first two columns. So my work's going to look like this. And then I'm going to recopy the first two columns. Okay, just like for a two by two matrix, you're going to start with the top left. So I need you to take the top five and multiply down. So five times two times three um, is 30. And let me switch my page here in my notes so that I can double check myself as I go to. All right, and then we're going to move down here. We're going to add right here, so put a plus sign. Negative one times negative nine times four, and that's 36. Plus six times zero times one would be zero. Then I add those together and I get 66. Then what I need you to do is start with the four down here and multiply up, four times two times six is 48, plus one times negative nine times five, so that's negative 45, plus three times zero times negative one is zero, and the answer here is three. To get your final determinant, you're going to take the 66, and you're going to subtract three. So the way that I remember that, I go back to what we did earlier. When we found our determinant earlier, we took five times negative four, and we subtracted two times negative eight. We subtracted in that order. I see that as the same thing here. I started with the five, and so when I started with the five, I got this first, and then I started with the four here and I got this second. So that order makes sense. 66 minus three is 63. That's the determinant of your matrix. We're gonna try this one just for more practice. And then that's gonna be the end of these notes, I believe. And the next part of lesson 5.3, I will show you Kramer's rule. Okay, so first step, I'm going to recopy my first and second columns. And make sure that you catch all of your signs and be careful when you copy the problems down. Okay, first diagonal, I'm gonna stick with my same colors. So negative 49 plus four plus one is going to be negative 44. Coming back the other way, 14 plus 14 minus one, 27. Always take your lower sum, subtract your upper sum, and you'll have your determinant. Stay tuned for more of Lesson 5-3 tomorrow. And again, tomorrow we'll finish off with Kramer's Rule.